Now we're going to see the effect of the temperature on solubility and how we can utilize that to actually do something what's called fractional crystallization. So we know that some compounds uh, are affected a lot by temperature as far as the sol solubility is concerned. For example, potassium nitrate, we'll dis we can dissolve 112 grams of potassium nitrate in 100 milliliters of water when the temperature is 60 degrees centigrade. And when the water is zero degrees centigrade, we can only dissolve 12.1 grams of potassium nitrate per 100 milliliters of water. So you can see that's a huge difference. When it comes to sodium chloride, at zero degrees centigrade, 100 milliliters of water can dissolve 34.2 grams of sodium chloride. And at 60 degrees centigrade, we can dissolve 38 grams per 100 milliliters of water. So you can see that for sodium chloride, there's not a lot of difference with the 60 degree temperature change. Now, what happens if we have a mixture? Let's say we have 100 grams of potassium nitrate mixed with 10 grams of sodium chloride. And somehow we want to separate the sodium chloride from the potassium nitrate, or better yet, we want to separate the potassium nitrate from the sodium chloride. We don't want the sodium chloride in there. How do we do that? Well, we, we find a way to purify it by dissolving the mixture in water that's at 60 degrees centigrade. And let's say we have 100 milliliters of water, we raise the temperature up to 60 degrees centigrade, and we dump our mixture into it, stir it around, and we know that since there's only 100 grams of potassium nitrate and only uh, 10 grams of